I'm Kristen Hernandez. I've worked in the law enforcement field for approximately 14 years. I have eight years of forensics experience and I'm also a certified forensics instructor. Today, I'm here to show you how to utilize Blue Star. Blue Star is a chemical that reacts with the heme in blood. Basically, we use it at the end of crime scene processing to see if there's any invisible blood or an area of crime scene cleanup. Here we have the Blue Star Forensic Kit. Now, as always, if you're on a real crime scene, make sure you're either mixing the chemicals outside of the crime scene or you protect your surfaces with craft paper or paper bags, whatever you, your agency has on hand. The first thing that you want to do is open the foil package with the tablets. You are then going to drop all three tablets into the solution to activate it. You'll then close the bottle and you want to mix it in a swirling motion for approximately one to two minutes so that the tablets can dissolve and activate the solution. And you also want to make sure that you use this product within 24 hours of mixing. Before using any product on a crime scene, you wanna make sure that the chemical is working the way it's supposed to. So in order to do that, we're gonna use a known blood sample to make sure the chemical is working properly. We also will dim the lights a little bit so that we could see the reaction. As you can see, the chemical is reacting the way it's designed to. You see a blue glow from the known blood sample. Now that your chemical has been tested, you're now ready to use it on your crime scene. There are a couple things that you want to consider. Make sure you have your camera on a tripod readily available to capture any luminescence that you observe. Additionally, you want to make sure you have your blood presumptive kits on hand so that you can test any area of luminescence. We're now going to lower our light level and apply Blue Star. We're going to start in the shower and then work our way back. In a real crime scene, you want to make sure that you document each area of luminescence as you go. Once you observe the luminescence from Blue Star, it should last about 30 seconds to two minutes. So at this point, you would test the luminescence from the Blue Star with a blood presumptive kit. So as you can see, the chemical luminescence is now visible. At this point, you'd wanna photograph it and also test the area. When using Blue Star, you do want to control the lighting in the environment that you're in because it is a lower light glow. Additionally, when you're trying to photograph that, you want to block any unnecessary ambient light that could impede on your photograph. When you're using Blue Star, remember everything you're documenting at this point is evidence. So again, you wanna make sure that you do this properly. Once you apply Blue Star and you observe a luminescence, you wanna test that area. And fortunately, Blue Star does not adversely affect DNA. If you believe that your blue star is reacting with a different type of blood other than human blood, that is an area where you could use blue star identiheme or blue star OBTI to test that area to ensure that it is in fact human blood that you're looking at. The OBTI test can be utilized after multiple applications of blue star forensic. Once the OBTI test is used, you need to read the reaction within three to 10 minutes. Blue Star OBTI does not react to synthetic blood. It will only react to human blood. The Blue Star Forensic website is an excellent tool if you need any help with documentation, user guides, MSDS sheets, and additional frequently asked questions. You can find this information at bluestar-forensic.com.